So we went this way, tried to go around the beach, but the sand is really soft. So I was able to come all the way here, but now we're gonna get the troopy to pull me out. Ava's just gonna back up. Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde, and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender, Albatross. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries, and just the road as a home. This is the sound background of our first night on the road in Mexico. After crossing into Mexico and spending a few days in Tijuana, we met with our new travel partners. Together, we plan to explore the Baja California Peninsula, a region west of Mexico stuck between the Gulf of California and the Pacific Ocean. In this episode, we get to know each other while looking for the ultimate Baja California beach experience. And it is going to be a bumpy road. First, let me introduce you to our crew. The new ones on the team are Cody and Olivia from Cote Jumbo. They're from Oregon, USA. They travel with their dog Ron in a 1985 beautiful Toyota Troopy called Jumbo that they modified entirely themselves. With us as well, we have our favorite trio of adventurers. I named our friend Eva from Poland, her dog Wilk and their defender Odyssey. Together, <laughs> off we are Cape Straight South. <laughs> We are almost ready to go with our travel buddies and you know what drill when we travel with people communication is essential communication is essential Completed a checkpoint with, I think it was the poli federal police. Um, yeah, they're just checking for guns, drugs, uh, drugs, armas. Yeah, mainly those. They really looked thoroughly, and uh, but they were rather friendly. And uh, I think they're checking the third car now. Eva and us are, are done. And it was funny when they learned we were French, and Eva was uh, from Poland. Uh, they remembered that this morning was the World Cup soccer game between Poland and, and France and they were like Poland, uno, Francia, tres yeah. and we were like eh eh <laughs> Burgers for dinner, Beyond Burgers. Thank you, Ava. And thank you guys, Cindy and Cody, for cooking. And we just prepared the table. No. Don't eat it. No, feel okay. We're now in Baja California. Let me lay out the plan to you of what's going to happen in the next days. But for that, a drawing is worth a thousand words. Hey, that Baja California roughly looks like this. You have the north and you have South Baja. Uh, Tijuana is here. Is our starting point of Ensenada where we met everyone else and here is the capital of Baja my drawing I said here is the capital of Baja La Paz we're going to go pretty fast through that section 
because it's still fairly cold. But the point is still to do off-road on the Gulf of California side and on the Pacific. But we're giving ourselves like four days. So this week, our main focus is to cross the northern part of Baja California. Hmm. With the objective of finding the right. ultimate Baja California oh. beach. How do we objectively rate that? It needs to be secluded, just for us. Has a gorgeous sunrise or sunset. And it needs to have a little something exceptional, something we don't expect. And it is time for fish tacos! Let's go! Yeah. Oh yeah! So we're going for some tacos. There's actually a fish taco bus. Mm, check out this food truck. Oh yeah. What's the debate? We're trying to figure out who's gonna order for who and how much each of us are gonna get. <laughs> One of our big challenges in Baja California is that we have about only 10 hours of daylight per day. So uh, one of the objectives of this afternoon is to go and stop probably around, I was about to say 2, but we're far away from 2, so maybe 3 p.m. So that we have an hour 30, an hour 40 of daylight at the beach. Uh, we're on the side of the Cortes Sea now, so uh, kind of the warmer side at least water-wise, water temperature-wise. So I think, I hope we'll be able to swim. Now we found this offer going to a pretty remote place. We'll see if we see a lot of people because the offer starts here and there's still an hour drive at least for like 38 kilometers left. So hopefully there won't be too many people and we will still have time to swim and uh, have some sunlight. For our first try, we notice remote off-roads leading to what seems like an exceptional part of the coastline. The way there is surely going to be more complicated and bumpy, but we go for it and try our luck. We were so sure of ourselves, so sure of ourselves. We flew the drone and could see the sea in the horizon. We were getting there. It would be the one. No one on the road. The one and only remote beach we were looking for. Up until we run into what looks like an illegal gravel collection operation and got stuck in the middle of it trying to backtrack. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking kind of stuck. Yeah, I am. It's uh, it's really hard to cross this bit. I knew I wasn't going to get over. I just didn't want to be over there. Right. Because that part is terrible. Here, at least I've got rocks for traction. So we went this way. I tried to go around the beach, but the sand is really soft, so I was able to come all the way here, but now we're gonna get the troopy to pull me out. Ava's just gonna back up. So let's see. Secluded? Yes. Trust for us? No. Gorgeous sunrise or sunset? We didn't get the chance to check. And needs to have something exceptional? Yes, but not really in the way we were imagining it. That is not the beach we were looking for. That will at least make for a good story. This is the beeswax spot of the night. First time I see the Starlink, so Ava has one, and she just set it up. And uh, it's powered by her car, and it 
shoots Wi-Fi everywhere. It's quite insane. In the middle of the desert, here's Cody, here's our defender, and we're doing the last supper in the middle. No, not really. Last just supper. Right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. Just, just doing a dinner in the middle. So Ava just turned on the app, booted the satellite there, and it starts spinning in the direction of the... <laughs> I guess the satellite's up in space. In the direction of Elon Musk. In the direction Musk. of Elon Musk. <laughs> it, yeah. like, it navigates, it like, just turns towards Elon Musk. We don't have one, but Elon Musk, want to get me one? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, I look very excited because today is a super special day, uh, but first I want to show you the cactus we woke up next to. Aren't they amazing? They're huge. Anyways, that's not the topic of today. Today is the birthday of Nick. Uh, so we are the 8th of December, he's turning 29 today. First we will need to go say uh, happy birthday to him and then today the program is to leave camp here with uh, Cody, Olivia and Eva and go chill at the beach for the rest of the afternoon and tonight we've got everything to make a fire with pizza it's going to be so much fun <laughs> thank you The birthday of one of our crew members. What better day to actually find the dream peach? Let's go for it. But first, we need to get out of the middle of nowhere where we got ourselves. Listen to this monster! <laughs> Can we talk <laughs> about the noise of this engine? It's so loud. Yeah. <laughs> so this is without the engine of Cody and Olivia. And this is with. <laughs> but we are still lost in the middle of Northern Baja California and we need to continue a long off-trail road through the mountains before we get the chance to actually explore a new area. Lesson number one, when you travel with other vehicles, you get help when you have trouble. So yesterday was us in the sand, today was uh, Eva in this cliff, and we're probably going to help that Toyota one day. But yeah, so that was, that's nice to be with other people. Eventually, we waved Eva goodbye. Just like us in other occasions, she had decided that the tilted trails were too risky for her home odyssey. And we continued with Cody and Olivia through the canyons. So right now we're on this off-road. Uh, we didn't even know it was going to be like this. Well, we knew it was off-road, but we didn't know it was going to get technical. And it's uh, a lot of fun. Very rocky, bumpy, two staircases, a lot of tilt. And now we're driving through a riverbed. And so it goes from uh, rock, sand, a bit of uh, water, so mud as well. No, it's a lot of fun. This is really cool. And uh, it's cool because uh, Cody and Olivia with their troopy, they, they said they wanted to join us, so they kept coming. And so we're doing this together, which, uh, which is fun.
place really feels like the hidden valley. We saw only one car early afternoon yesterday when we went to the beach where, I mean, those people were working. And, and since then we've seen no one. It's beautiful. It's very green now. It's like full of like different cactuses. We're driving in the riverbed. It's amazing. We're done for this trail now. Vamos a la playa, por favor. We were out of the hardest piece of trail we had to complete in Baja so far. Now there was almost nothing that could prevent us from getting to our objective. Let's go! spot spontaneously it's a 10 give it a 10 yeah it's a 10 we made it it's a 10 it is the beach we were looking for since yesterday this is great there we go yeah i'll get on these rocks i'll make it easier i got my little helpers uh digging out the sand so that we can park properly definitely makes up for the rest of the experience of today! Oh. And maybe you'll see the seals on the... Do you see the seals? Uh -huh. Oh my god, there's three of them, four of them! It's a whole little family! Aww. It took the time it took. But after four days off-road and on-road, after a gigantic fail and a lot of love for, we had made it to the ultimate Baja beach experience. Secluded? Yes. Just for us? Yes. An amazing sunset? Yes. And a little something exceptional. In that case, sea lions chilling on the coastline, just through rock arch next to our beach. What are you doing? Pizza dough. We have done pizza before in Norway, Sweden, Finland, Alaska, Canada. Mm. We haven't done since Alaska though. And tonight we're gonna make pizza for my birthday. So in terms of birthdays, how do you rate this one over the course of like all birthdays? Good or bad? <laughs> ah, that's a tough one. So it's the first birthday on the road. In comparison to all birthdays, I mean, Mathilde's really good at doing birthdays. So it makes it tough. Yeah, so yeah. this one's gonna be a good one as well because it's on the road with good people. Pizza, fire, nice beach. It raised pretty high. It raised pretty high. Yeah. But I, I don't know which one the top one is. It ultimately, it depends on how well the pizza turns out. Exactly. for you. 
leave, but you have to choose okay. the right hand. Okay. <gasps> what happens if he doesn't? If he well, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Right hand, he has to go in the water. Oh no, I just. <laughs> no, okay, now, <laughs> now Cody is, is going to choose not to have his gift if you say I'll that. Be, I'll give it to me. <laughs> okay, uh. Olivia first. You can Sierra watch. Or ah. <laughs> so tough, because I gotta get it right. Oh, Nick. Izquierda. You cannot know. Good guess. Whoa! <laughs> Let me open your eyes. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God, man. Yay! Oh, I love it. This is great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not, it's oh, not over. Okay, sorry. Izquierda derecha. Oh, sorry. Izquierda derecha. Izquierda again. I don't know which one that is, but you no. win. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way. I love it. Oh, now, now you can make all the special beers. Yeah, beer that's such yeah. good Thank gifts. So I guess from all of you guys? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so nice. Good boy. Thanks, dude. Yeah, definitely. That is such a good idea. I'm going to have enough uh, tahin for, for a right. month. Happy birthday, Nick! Happy yeah. birthday! Good to be traveling with you guys, getting to spend your birthday. Yeah. A special experience sitting on the Sea of Cortez with these guys. Uh, it was awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks. Pretty sweet. Cheers to everybody. Cheers! Yo, Cody. How's it going? Good. So what's the plan today? What are we doing? Uh, so everyone's just packing up their vehicles, getting the pop tops put down, and airing down their tires. Uh, this morning we've got a little bit of a climb out of camp. It's a little steep, but mostly it's sandy. Uh, and then after we get out of uh, the sandy area, we're going to head back into... Um, town to uh, get some groceries before, before finding some more nice white sandy beaches. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect. We're hoping to find something like this, maybe more sea lions, maybe a nice sunset. Yeah. Hopefully, a... hopefully swimming. I think that's what I want most. True. To be able to swim. We now enter Baja California's house, a land of many wonders and surprises. The crew continues to explore and we'll meet you next week for more beautiful beach, beautiful nature and beautiful experiences. Oh! And Merry Christmas to all of you celebrating, and your family. Want to gift us something? Like the video and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss the rest of the world tour. See you next week! Every year, Mathilde creates an advent calendar for me. Uh, it has been like this since, I think, four or five years. It's a Ferro Rocher packet with 24 chocolates. And each chocolate has a day on it. Cuatro. I found it. And below it, I get the little paper. Okay, so I have to go look for something around the vehicle that has to do with respirar. I've got two ideas. One, it could be Mathilde's snorkeling... Uh, set or the second one could be the car's snorkel well i think i found it it's up here that's so cute i'll be getting a few candies but also a new spice smoking jamaican hot sauce so every day i've been getting a new spice so this is the fourth spice i'm getting